Hello, everyone. I'm Kira Schaefer from As You Wish Publishing, and we're going to take you from expert to author today. It's going to be very simple, very easy, and very straightforward, and I cannot wait to get started with you. Sometimes our expertise gets lost in translation. So for many experts, translating years of experience into a book can feel overwhelming. But where do you start? How do you make your insights engaging for readers? We're going to get into that today. Here's a few things that you will be doing when we are done with our time. All right, let's take it step by step. At As You Wish Publishing, we've simplified this process into three steps. Define your audience, craft your unique message, and organize your knowledge into an engaging structure. Now, you know what? I know that it's all about the application, right? Of actually doing the things. So I'm gonna give you a couple action steps at the end, but ultimately it's up to you to determine how you want to go through with creating your book. So let's start with defining your audience. Who are you writing for? Identify who will benefit most from your insights. And are you writing for beginners or professionals or those seeking personal growth? Be sure to tailor your language and examples to that audience level. And you know what? It's a real easy, simple exercise. Ideal reader profile would be something great for you to create, which will outline your reader's needs and challenges. Now, for me, what I did when I wrote my book, Holograms and Echoes, Transform Triggers to Truth, I really used myself now as an avatar. I used myself about 10 years ago as an avatar and when I was in my early 20s, when I was really struggling with all the triggers and all the trauma that I experienced in my life and starting the new process of going into learning about how to manage my mind. And so for me, my audience kind of showed up at those different levels and those different areas of my life because those are going to be the, probably the people that are going to be reading the book. They're going to be the ones who in some cases are just starting out and just want to know, how do I feel better? How do I get to a place of hope? All the way to those people who have found few strategies, but haven't quite gotten all of them together or would like some additional ones. And even those at my current level who generally know how to manage emotions and feelings and experiences in a way that is more regulating to the nervous system. So when you define your audience, oftentimes the best person to look at would be yourself. Who were you 20 years ago, 10 years ago, five years ago, or maybe even last week? And then go ahead and put that ideal reader profile together. Next, you wanna craft your message. Focus on your core message and what makes your experience different? What makes even your solution or your process or what it is that you feel is your message different, then outline two or three takeaways that will make readers feel informed and empowered. Be sure to avoid that jargon because oftentimes we have a curse of knowledge. I remember when I was working for a cardiologist years ago and I thought to myself, what are all these acronyms? What are all these things mean? And it took me a really long time to learn them. So be sure to avoid any of those types of pitfalls when you are giving information to people. Because the curse of knowledge says that because we think we know, we've learned that everybody else knows what we know to a certain degree, but they don't. So make sure that you bring your information to people and make it very accessible and use those relatable stories that help people truly integrate the information so that they're able to understand uh, at a deeper level what you're wanting to share. Next, organize your information and use a structured format specifically for nonfiction books. Be sure to start with an outline and organize your chapters to build logically from foundational concept to advanced insights. Because you have advanced, you have grown, but remember who you were 10 years ago, 20 years ago, and think about the basics, the things that you needed initially in order for you to understand who you are, what you are, and what you offer today, what your message is, 
and that really incredibly engaging connection to your authors, being empathetic and helping them understand that you do want them to feel seen in this book and what you're providing to them. Consider frameworks also, like problem solution structure, because oftentimes people want to go from their painful place to their pleasurable place. And sometimes it's difficult for them to even see that pleasurable moment. And they think, oh, yeah, it'd be great if I were there. Of course it would. So a lot of times people can get a clearer understanding of what the problem is and how they would like to get there uh, much easier than going from that, I'm going to solve your solution. I'm going to have your solution for you. And I'm going to help you really feel good right this second. We know that there is a progression from a pain place to a pleasure place. So you can structure your content in that way, or you can do a step-by-step progression like what we did in this program and just keeping readers engaged in that way. Some of the benefits of authorship, as you know that there are many, but there's just a couple. Beyond publishing, consider where your book fits into your career, right? We don't want to just one and done, get it out there and then do nothing with it. Think about where it really fits with your next steps in your career. Use it to open up speaking gigs, consulting roles, or media appearances as well. Having a book opens more doors than you may realize because it gives you another tier of expertise and it helps people know that you walk your talk, that you want people to know that you believe so much in what you say you're willing to put it into writing. I'm going to invite you to think of your book as a long-term asset that you can continually build upon as you go. So this might be volume one. I want you to think about volume two, volume three, volume four. I want you to think about the progression of from this first book of where you can go in the future. Maybe it's specific areas that you want to offer your solution or your message to or about, uh, or perhaps it's just building upon the information from the book before and really outlining those details that you couldn't get to in the first book, but that you would like to get to in subsequent books that follow. All right, here we go. Here's today's takeaways. Define your audience. So identify and write for your ideal reader. And listen, that might have been you 10 years ago, 20 years ago, or maybe even last week. What did you need to know that you've learned just last week that will actually help build upon your message within your book to help your readers feel seen? Craft your message and build your brand story through content. So your story matters greatly. So be sure to add that in. Make some of those relatable stories an asset within your content so that people see themselves in you, as you have navigated using your wisdom, your solution for yourself or for those people who have worked with you as well. Organize information, make sure the structure of the nonfiction book keeps those readers engaged, keeps them moving to the next chapter to learn about you, to learn about your solution and to learn about the benefits of what you've brought to your clients or your readers. Listen, I think it's time. Don't you think it's time? (laughs) Let's go ahead and schedule a virtual coffee chat with me, Kira, and let's discuss your book. There's that QR code there. You can scan it, take a picture of it, and it'll take you right to my link for my calendar, and it will help you to uh, get something set up. If you've got 15 minutes, and let's just sit and chat about what you want your book to be, and what you want to move forward with as far as your content or your message, I'm happy to just give a little chat, give a little talk, give a little connection around your idea so that you can feel as though um, the next steps aren't that daunting. They're not that hard at all. And we can help you with everything. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to find your audience, make it really simple. Who are you? Who were you? And What message can you share and connect the dots that you wish were connected for you when you were 
younger or in this particular issue or problem that you're solving for your for the people that you're working with. And this could range from any type, whether it's a product, whether it's a service, whether it's a coaching, whether it's uh, a professional um, organizer even. There are so many things that you can do uh, just by defining your audience um, with any type of career, or any type of industry, you can create a book for that audience that you serve. Make sure to craft your unique message and organize your information as well. Then look us up at As You Wish Publishing and take the next steps. It's asyouwishpublishing.com. I'd love to help you and I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for listening. Please comment, like, and share. It really helps the channel. Thank you very much.